have had so many guests so far, and you are the first one who got a standing ovation. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. Laura right. Trump, senior advisor to the Trump campaign, the president's daughter-in-law. So how are you celebrating Valentine's Day so far? Oh, well, I'm here with you guys, but I'm sure Eric at home has something very special. <laughs> well, he better. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And Paula Dean already gave me this beautiful poison ring in the back. <laughs> so I'm doing great so far. So, Eric, if you don't have a present... She has a poison Paula's ring. Paula's already gotten it for me, so right. you're you're all set. You're Don't worry like about it. I feel great knowing my no, wife's coming right. home with a poison, <laughs> poison ring. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? Also, that ring is underdog. Remember, underdog got his power. Uh, he had a ring, there and they thought it was a bad thing for kids to take a pill and get stronger. So <laughs> they not stopped a good it. Idea, but so okay. that's why underdog doesn't even make the Macy's parade. Okay. What do you think of what do you think of Jill and Joe Biden on the View defending their son? Well, I mean, you obviously expect them to defend him, but I think the bigger point here is that what they're suggesting, that the, the kids should be left out of it. Listen, none of us in our family have been left out of anything. And if, if anything, it's been quite the opposite. And whenever the president was elected, my husband and Don made a choice to completely get out of any new deals, uh, foreign deals, you know, just to make sure there was no image of impropriety, not even the, the slightest, faintest touch of that. The opposite happened with Hunter Biden. You saw that he got into international business and these foreign deals when his dad was vice president. Yet we are constantly hit on our side. People are con constantly making up things and saying that we've done something wrong. None of us have done anything wrong, but uh, of course you expect them to defend him. I just think that the hypocrisy is, is glaring here, and, and people can see that for what it Don't is. Don't you think that Joe Biden would be doing better in the polls if Nancy Pelosi hadn't gone ahead with the impeachment thing? Because every time uh, they would talk about impeaching your father-in-law, then the Republicans would talk about Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, Burisma, and they were collateral damage. Yeah, I, listen, the impeachment thing was so bad for the Democrats. We had record fundraising at the Trump campaign, thanks to Nancy Pelosi calling for impeachment. So a little gift to us. We'll take that. Um, but yeah, listen, it, it certainly didn't help Joe Biden out any. He didn't really help himself any, in all fairness. So, I mean, either way, I don't know that, that he... I was never worried about Joe Biden. People consistently would ask me, before he even got in the race, are you worried? I was never worried about Joe, and now we see he's well, probably in fifth place. Well, who are you worried about then? Well, I'm not worried about anybody, because we know we got the best president in the history of this country, right? Yeah, I mean, really, truly, though, I, I think it's going to be very hard to go against the incredible track record and the success of this president, when especially you see their frontrunner now is a self-proclaimed socialist who wants to completely reverse course, wants to go the way of Venezuela, the USSR, Cuba. I mean, this has never worked in any country successfully, socialism, mm -hmm. and he wants to bring it here. It would completely do an about face on this great booming economy. It would change this country to be an America we've never known, and I don't think people are going to. We go finally for that. get rid of oil and gas and health insurance, so that'll be a big relief. There you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, there's some violence going on. We know what happened in Jacksonville when the, uh, the Trump supporters were signing people up and they got run over. Uh, thankfully, no one was hurt. Uh, their tent got run over by a guy who was happy to do it. And then we had some violence over in New Hampshire where a 15-year-old was assaulted by some crazy lunatic. Yeah. Uh, and here's some of the quote. From, uh, his from the mother. mom. He said, I was apprehensive about him wearing the MAGA hat because we know it can provoke and we know people don't like Trump, but he wore the hat because he's a proud 15 year old and he doesn't know what people are going to be like. Wow. Hey, what's your reaction? You know what? I want to say, first of all, to that entire family, thank you for your incredible support for our president. Um, this is disgusting, this sort of thing. And I actually think my brother-in-law, Don, reached out specifically to the family talked to and him. talked to them yesterday um, so they know how we feel. Um, Did, didn't the kid get slapped in the face? That's, that's what I hear. Um, the reality is you never hear about it going the other way. You never hear about Republicans or Trump supporters attacking so viciously anyone on the left. You know what? This is America. We're allowed to have whatever political views we used want. To, we used to be able we to. We used to be able to, but now you see this. It's really scary. And you know what? I have consistently said that I think people are going to be much more hesitant to outwardly support this president. They're going to come out and vote for him, don't mistake me, in, uh, on November 3rd. But they're going to be a lot more hesitant to support him because of things like this outwardly. So wearing a MAGA hat gets you slapped in the face and assaulted. As and a teenager. I mean, this is disgusting. What kind of country is this if this is acceptable? And I want to say thank you to Fox. You guys have really been made sure that this gets out there and gets talked about. No one else 
has said anything about this by and large in the mainstream media. Why is that? Well, wouldn't you uh, like to know the answer to that, Steve? I mean, I really think it's because, you know, the, the mainstream media is uh, the de facto marketing arm of the Democrat Party, and they do everything they can to push against Republicans and bolster Democrats, and they don't want the narrative out there that if, you know, the, these Democrats or these people that hate the president right. are coming out and, and doing this, and it's not everyone. There are select people that do this, this but it, it, it's just, it's disgusting, and, and it has to stop. Right. Not right.